Setting these fabulous grounds of just under three acres, as we stand here, you really wouldn't know what is going on in the outside world. Let's go and take a look inside, and we enter Eden House through this very grand, imposing entrance hallway. It really welcomes you and finishes this property off perfectly. I've asked the current owners of Eden House to talk us through the project. We've lived on Pope Plain on this private road since 1997 when we bought White State Farm. And I think it's, we love it here because it's central to everywhere. We are literally five minutes from the train station in Preston, which is two and a half hours to London. We're 10 minutes from the motorway, which is a main artery for the UK. And to be honest, we are actually in the centre of the country. We've had experience over the years of, of renovating properties. So we had in our mind's eye where we wanted to go with it, having debated it long and hard as to how we were going to do it and where we wanted to be. But slowly but surely, um, we imagined it's, it's, it, it, it's how it was going to end up, but trying to get to that finish point, you never think you're going to arrive at that point really, but we, we have. And to be honest, it's where we, we thought it was going to get to. It's, this is what we, uh, we had a vision of, of it ending up, but to be honest, didn't really expect it to look as good as it does. Open plan living is simply a must have these days, and this property takes it to the very next level, really taking advantage of the fabulous patio and garden areas. With so many doors leading out there, it creates a real live in, live out feeling. This kitchen has all the modern appliances that you would expect of a premium property and the mirrored splashback and the roof lantern create a real wow factor. The house was such a difficult property. It was on different levels. It was actually two old cottages put together and it was such a difficult thing to get round as to how we were just going to make it look better aesthetically that we thought oh, we're just going to have to go the whole hog and so that's what we decided to do we thought we'd just, we just we could only renovate we weren't allowed to knock it down so it had to be a renovation so there are parts of the property that are still original um, but then we've extended it both ways and up and out <laughs> So it is a much bigger property than what it was and a much prettier property than what it was. We have the, the sun um, in the morning um, um, in the east and, and of course it sets on the west. The, this part of the property is north facing but because of the openness of it um, we never get the feeling we're not in sun. It, it's always um, one way or another radiating through. The garden room in the morning is just spectacular. Um, the evening sun is wonderful because it comes in on the back of the house and once we go into dusk and the lighting we've got works, it, it, it looks sensational. I'm stood here outside the garden room and it's a room that has a lot of a colonial feeling to it from the wallpaper to the blinds to those fantastic sash windows. I love so many of the rooms in the house. And every time we finish one, it's my favourite. But I think if I had to choose one room, it has to be the garden room. Because to me, that is how we always, how Tony and I always wanted that little bit of Africa in, in this setting. And sometimes you can shut your eyes and you think that's exactly where you are. And although we knew what was in our heads, actually achieving that was quite difficult but I think well for us I think we managed it I think we did really well. We have uh, down the drive this lovely private location and it, it doesn't seem to be part of the, the, the world at the end of the drive is so frantic um, but we have that quiet and privacy here. 
The master bedroom of this property is my very favourite room. It was very difficult to choose, but the dual aspect French windows, the vaulted ceiling with two Velux windows, there's so much light in this room, and there is a wraparound balcony to take in the views and really gives the feeling of being abroad. And that ensuite is simply sensational. We've also spent a lot of time thinking about it and we've also pulled a lot of colours together and thought, does it work, doesn't it work? We have painted walls and then looked at them and said, no, we've got to do it again because that is not right. So, yeah, we, we have been brave and people have come and when we've just started and looked and we've gone, really? You think that's going to work? But actually, really, yes, it has worked. Yeah, we're, it's, listen, <laughs> this is ridiculous, because I'm so proud of it. And you should be. I am. This is so stupid. And this isn't me at all, honestly. We love it. Why are we selling? <laughs> this is ridiculous, I'm so sorry. We always talk about our favourite element of a property in these videos, and whilst it's hard to describe a downstairs loo as a favourite room in the house, the owners have turned what is normally a very functional room into a space that is sure to impress any visitors to the home. Accessed via this separate staircase, this property also has a bedroom that could offer an annex potential. There's a room that could be converted to an ensuite bathroom. There's a separate sitting area or home office just off the bedroom, and there's also a balcony overlooking those fabulous grounds. There is equestrian potential too with this property. The current owners don't house horses, but there is a stable block and obviously plenty of land should you wish to do so. A complete labour of love, absolutely. But we didn't, I have to say that when we took it over, we never expected it to be as big as what no, it is. No, no, if you can say a labour of love <laughs> yeah. lasts 10 years, yeah. then, then it has done. So we spent five <laughs> years doing the garden, because that's, you can, it takes time to do a garden. And five years, nearly, doing, doing the renovation. It took us five years to get planning permission. 